And we're back here at the Call of Duty Championship presented by Xbox right there, your Xbox main stage. Pretty soon, that booth will be occupied by Team Envious going up against the European powerhouse in Epsilon. We got a crew up here right now. I like it. This is a party up here. It's cozy. I, it is cozy, to say the sure. least. Yeah, you like so. this. Are you ready to cast some Call of Duty with us, man? Man, I am ready. I have called college football. I've yeah, I called say, UFC you, fights. You commentate. Like, you're up here. You're hip about the talk back button and cough. Oh. I was like, all right, you're, you're better than all the commentators we got here, man. I, well, I do this, and I do, you know, I do some pretty big sports and big games, but it's pretty funny, I think. I think we're going to get higher ratings right now. <laughs> sure, call it. That's, we just thought, might, man. We just the might. The largest franchise in history is Call of Duty. Yeah. Bigger than Star Wars, Harry Potter. That's amazing. And me. I know. It this is the biggest gig I've called. Yeah, there you go then, man. Well, welcome to the at the Alpha Station then. Awesome. And now you can just add a, another thing. You're going to be like, football, <laughs> college football, Call of Duty. Well, we talked beforehand. <laughs> we actually talked beforehand. I I'm going to try and, and, and kick a shark in the nose, and we're going oh, yeah, so, to try and beat a bear. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. that's going to sound we, uh, very we had, I, I, Sometimes I really wish the conversations in between matches were recorded you know? because I they happen to be the best ones sometimes. So <laughs> They really do. Yep, punch a shark. That's something I learned today. But we've got Epsilon <laughs> versus Envious coming up here. Envious kind of been fighting for their lives here. Close game five with TK. Yep. Ultimately, it was Envy that pulled it out. And then Epsilon, uh, they, they got in the number, they got the, uh, the high seat from their group from beating out Optic Gaming. Optic Gaming kind of creating a story of their own today with the big wins that they've done. So I'm looking forward to these two squads making, uh, you know, coming together. It is for top six. It's for top, so this is for top eight. Top eight. eight. So the, the winner of whoever comes out on top of here is guaranteed top eight, obviously, in the money then. And, and it's worth mentioning, Envious is coming off, what, a five-minute break? The, yeah. Endurance is going to be a factor. Mental focus is going to be a factor. Epsilon has been rested, had a chance True. to eat. Maybe uh, go ahead and just take a break. Absolutely. You know, we're, we're talking about major endurance here for They combat. just, and they'll get fi five games, too. They just played, you're right, five-minute break, and they're back wow. at it. But let's go ahead and introduce our teams here. We've got Epsilon Esports. We've said it before, a European powerhouse. They finished second, and the European qualifier is coming short of beating TCM. This is quite the squad. Benson, what do you guys think over there in Europe about these boys? Oh, th these guys are some of the best in Europe. That is for sure. The big thing about these guys is they're just slaying ability. They can just kill and kill and kill. You see them walking on to the stage. Now, watch out for Swanee. He placed in the money this time last year. He was with an Italian team. Now he's with a full squad, a very well-practiced squad as well. And that's King Jud on your screen. I think everyone in the world knows about him. And watch out for Flux as well right at the very end. He's one of those good players. Well, why is uh, Swanee obviously looks like he's ready to go out on a yacht or something after he looks yeah, he's like chilling. he's going to take his $400,000 paycheck out on a yacht. <laughs> but here's Team Envious. You saw him last match. You've got Rambo, Merc, Study, and Nameless there. This is quite the squad. Study the young buck here. Rambo and Merc, without a doubt, and Nameless, all veterans for this team. They've seen this kind of competition before, and I think they're ready for it. Again, they've had a hard-fought battle where they're at. They've got to take on Epsilon now, but top eight in the money. you got to know there's a lot of pressure on them as they're going to set in there and take the boost, and the, the match is about to kick off here. Well, they just had a very, very tough game as well. It's worth mentioning against TK. TK, actually, th that's the lowest placement ever in the organization's history. I'm not sure exactly what the final bad, placement Bad was. timing, because the last right. four events prior to this, they placed top four. Yeah, wow. it's, yeah it's so that's a heartbreak. It's crazy. It's, it's, I, feel, I feel so sorry for the guys. You know, they put in such a shift this year, and then to get to the, the one, the major event of the year, and to just really not perform at their best. Very, very unlucky. But Envious, they are trying desperately to get back into that top eight. It's going to be a long road for them, though, if they want to get it back to that grand final where they were this time last year. I'll tell you yeah. what, though. Look at Study, man. He may be the young buck out there, but that kid is in the zone, and he is on fire. In their last game, he was the heart and soul of that team. Yeah, he's ready, man. He's ready. Uh, he was getting nameless pumped up earlier, and I think... Uh, <laughs> Sometimes it's the young guy that keeps the spirit and morale highest, you know? Especially when you're talking about back-to-back -back games like this. You need someone like that with that young energy. Yep. I mean, Epsilon is focused. I think I saw those guys meditating before the game. <laughs> <laughs> they might have been, man. They might have been. They're that cool comment. Cool comment collected. Clothes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was the Swanee's either meditating or going out on a yacht. <laughs> we can't quite figure it out yet. <laughs> but these guys are getting geared up to take on this series. Any predictions? Oof. It's, it's going to be very, very difficult to, to predict this series properly. I mean, you know, part of me, obviously, being European, I want to see Epsilon succeed. You're but so then, biased. I, I'm, I'm just right, messing. That's right. Right. <laughs> we, we let me finish the sentence at least. God damn, I, I want to see Epsilon succeed, but then, you know, this Envy lineup, they yeah. are just so strong. They have just such experience mixed with youth. Just, it is the perfect combination. I'm really surprised, if I'm honest, to see them actually down in the loser's bracket. I had them to, to you know, go through the, the winner's bracket quite a bit, but they found themselves down there now, and they're coming up against Epsilon, and 
the big thing for me is it's going to be about shutting down Swanee. I have this feeling that Swanee in this series, he knows what it's, he know what this pressure's like. This was exactly where he was this time last year. Had a crucial must-win game, and he went ham. It was ridiculous. He was getting kills left, right, and center. I'm expecting a thing exactly the same right now. Yeah, I mean, I, I hear you. I mean, Epsilon, Swanee went off on that freight game that we saw earlier, yeah. and it was like he just dismantled the team, and it was <laughs> fun to watch him with the Remington and the AR. I, obviously, I'm a big fan of this Epsilon squad, so uh, there's a potential we see another game five, which then it goes back to your point about the endurance, because that would be 10 consecutive games that Envy just played here on the Alpha stage. Wow. But let's see how it all pans out. Domination Freight is going to be game one. We were just talking about it. This is where Swanee played huge with that Remington assault rifle. He was going, putting in the big numbers on Freight here, wondering if he can do it again this time against Envious. Yeah, Dom Freight. I think this is uh, going to be an interesting game. That is 100% for sure. Who's going to take it or who has the advantage based on the map? It's too difficult to tell because both these two teams have that ability to slay. I'm really looking at Study though. He is, as you said, that young book, the guy with the energy. He needs to step up. He needs to have another one of those performances, which everyone sits there and go, Oh, yeah, that, that's the study we know and love. All eyes on study then up here, huh? Yeah, absolutely. I know who we're jumping on first then with, huh, Benson? Yep, definitely. I, I, I want to have a look at him because he is one of those plays. He is a factor. A lot of people have said, you know, doing the research about Team Envy, you know, the, the, the competitors, they've looked at it and they said, all right, when study plays well, Envy tend to win. Now, when he doesn't have a, a good game, it tends to be Envy. Envious will lose those games. And there isn't really that many other players it's in that team that can pick up that slack as heavy as study can. It's kind of interesting, too, when you've got all these veterans on the team that you have, you know, they're kind of mentoring this this young man, too, through. Right. But at the same time, you know, to your point, they, they need him, too, just as much as he needs them, I think, exactly where they're that. at in his career. It goes to show the development of the game, though. I mean, there's a yeah. lot of these young bucks out there just waiting to get picked up. Oh, by man, and they can. Though. Like, we saw last year uh, a guy named Miracles. He had only gone to, like, three or four <laughs> lands, and then he won the Call of Duty Championship. Yeah. You know, he only goes to, like, three or four events. There's people playing for years, and he wins the, the World Championship. So there's definitely players out there competing right now in Call of Duty duty that could hang in this tournament that need to go through and play the process and, and try to, you know, play on the main stage one day. But let's jump on board. We've been talking about study and there's the man himself with the Remington in tow and they're going to be starting on the A side. Just watch out for study in this game. As we said, I'm expecting big things and I'm expecting him to get very, very loud. He's one of those players who just reacts to that hype. As soon as him and Nameless start getting loud, that's when you know it's getting dangerous. Three players already down for Epsilon. It's going to leave Swanee in an awkward situation and you can see Envy is already on that B flag. Study trying to pick off someone across the map. Ambitious shots from him. I'm going to turn Oracle mode on just so you can see exactly where he's trying to shoot at. And oh, there's the headshot on Swanee. And that's one of those plays you're going to want to clear out. There's another headshot for Study. He started on a bit of a, a rampage there. Nicely done. And that B flag is still neutral. But I think Envious may actually grab that. Yeah, they have. Just a heads up, guys. Get your tweets in. Go ahead and tweet at Call of Duty with the hashtag CODCHAMPS. Followed up with another hashtag if you think Envious will win this series or Epsilon. So go get your tweets in. Again, we'll take some of the good tweets, uh -oh. too, out of the bottom there no. as we're on board with Merck, who's just laying down everyone, picking up Swanee and Jerd. Merck's got eight consecutive kills there. He's 8-0, oh. almost 9-0. Finally, they put it to an end, but Merck off to a good start. He's, rep he's representing Ohio real well right now. <laughs> you had to jinx him though, didn't you, Fuzz? I, I might have. You, 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 I might you, have. you may have just gone and done that. But I I'm, still I'm, love I'm gonna, him. I want to stay on board with him, actually. He got taken down by Rambo's nade. That was just an unfortunate timing more than anything. But Team Envious are in control of this game. 24 to 14 points. So they have that 10-point lead. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's hardly anything. That can disappear in the blink of an eye. But still, a lead is a lead. And Envious, they need to just try and build upon that now. Oh, studying. I think Study might know somebody's there. Now he definitely does. Tries to get shots in, not able to pick it up as Flux took out Merck there and got away. That who, that's who Study, I think, was trying to get down. Looking over in the red car, sees somebody. There's actually two players over there that are waiting. One of them looked like he put out a trophy system, so Study trying to hunt down both of them so he doesn't get pushed on the flank. Finally gets taken out. Let's jump back on board with Merck, who is 11-3. Like, we've got to give him some air time. Yeah, you, you kind of have to when a player yeah, is going. He, 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 he deserves it. <laughs> he definitely deserves it. 11-3. I'm curious to see exactly what it is He's going to be doing that. B-Flex still neutral. It's been neutral for a while. He actually has a play to his right-hand side. Completely missed out on that. That's actually Tommy for Epsilon, who was trying to cause a little bit of a ruckus over there at the opposite side. Trophy system goes down. Double trophy systems go down. Tag from one side, though. He is going to get shot. Study still on that B-Flex, though. Can they carry a cap? Doesn't look like they're going to be able to do so, but it's worth mentioning, guys, you know, when that B-Flag is neutral, it just means that, you know, the score is going to stay the same. It's going to, that 10-point lead is going to stay there until the end, until someone jumps on that B-Flag finally. 
Yeah, exactly. You know, the only way to get two points for every five seconds is to control two caps there. And if they both only have one, only accumulating one point, you've got Envy with a 10-point lead over Epsilon that they're continuing to maintain. To your point, Benson, nobody's made a push in on the B. As you're looking in the voting as well, uh, the boys in blue have a good following there over Epsilon, and it looks like they're pretty, or they're just pretty confident that Envy is going to pull this one out. Yeah, one of the two. Epsilon do have a, a very a big fan base over in Europe. They so. do that. They do. Hell, they got one here too. I'm a big Epsilon <laughs> fan. <laughs> Merck still 12 and five, and I want to I want to give Swanee some love. He's on a six-point streak right now. He's at nine and five. One of the best ARs in the world, let alone Europe. Looks across, picks off, study. That was a nice shot. That's two plays go down. He's running very low on that, but oh. only three bullets, and that's oh. that's yeah. That didn't, that didn't got, somebody got well, a right? somebody got a shot in him, and then he just he just got the snowboard out there, slid down, and got wrecked. Didn't, didn't end very well, but now no, Judd, on your screens, what can he do? If there's ever a moment where Epsilon need him to step up to the next level, it's right now. He's going to get shut down by Nameless, though, so still, that stalemate situation, no one going near that B-flag. It's been neutral now for a good two and a half minutes, and Envious, they, they don't really seem too bothered. I think I think the game plan right now is wait for Epsilon to push onto it, try and get two or three plays down, and if that so occurs, then jump on that B-flag and make it their own. Merck still still doing business at 30 to 13 and 6, picks up a kill, finally gets taken out. He is definitely contributing big for his squad and the reason why they have 10 points. This B flag has been neutral forever and it looks like Envy was about to pick it up, but that got stopped by Epsilon. So Benson's this battle for B has been absolutely brutal for these two squads. It really has. I can't remember the last time I've seen a game where the B flag has stayed neutral for this long. But both teams with the slain power. But finally, we see the B flag fall. It's going to go to Team Envious. They have control. They're going to start building upon that lead. But it's only going to be 30 seconds of that two to one flags as Merck. Fantastic play shutting down Swanee and Tommy. 18 and 8, guys. Could you ask for a better performance from the veteran? That was that was a crazy. I mean, I I don't think we've seen B go neutral for that long. I mean, it was a couple minutes. It was neutral for, wasn't it? Oh, that was that was a very very long time, and it just shows Envy just knowing that they had that lead. They didn't need to make the first play. Wait for Epsilon to try and go for it, and if they do, just try and slay them. Just Brian, you got to you got to be impressed I'm after all those I, games. I'm telling you right now, watching Merck, I'm extremely impressed. Every move that young man makes is deliberate. He turns a corner, it's deliberate. He's looking for something. There's no sloppy movements. He doesn't get careless out there. That's why he had those numbers. What did he finish with? 20, 20 and 10. 20 and incredible 10. performance. Absolutely. And you got to think, maybe it's just because they're on fire coming out of that game. You know, I, you wonder if it works against you or if it, if it helps you stay you warmed, up. Get warmed up. Right? Yeah, maybe yeah. the meditating wasn't the key for yeah. someone. Maybe <laughs> it might not have been it. There. Might not have been it. <laughs> Swanee's too excited for that yacht right now, man. He's got he's to get to the championship first. Yeah, very true. You see that? Envy on your screen. And look at the concentration on Steady's face. He's not worried about oh, dude, he's high. This That's is his biggest event, right you know? Well, right th there. this is the thing. He's just turned 18. So he wasn't obviously here last year. He's been having some some good good events, you know, with, with Team Envious. They've been getting that team chemistry going up. And, I mean, you, you look at that scoreboard, and it's just dominated by the slaying figures of yeah. Team Envious. <laughs> Although Merck cast quite the shadow at 2010. Oh. You can't take it away from Study, oh, who was still course. in the positive and contributed two caps as well. So a, a very good first side for Envy, but... The score isn't anything that Epsilon can't come back to, that's for sure. Five minutes is going to be on the, on the clock going into the second half. Uh, Epsilon's certainly able to kind of chisel away at that lead that Envy has, so Envy needs to kind of keep it up and stay on top of their toes here if they want to make sure they close this one out. Merck checking Twitter in between games. <laughs> That, that's that's what I do too, man. When I'm casting, so I can't even knock him for it. I do the same thing. He's probably getting a he's lot like, of love he's like, right there. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's let me. A lot you get of pumped up. You're like, you're the, you're the best, Merc. You're the best, Merc. I'm like, yeah. That, that puts retweet, a guy in the retweet, zone. Retweet, that puts retweet. a guy in the zone, man. <laughs> no, for sure, man. I dig it. <laughs> All your brethren over there across the pond in Europe <laughs> yeah. are sending Epsilon some hate right now. Hey, a little I, disappointed. No, nah, there'll definitely not be any hate. It'll be more. You you know, come on, guys. Let's talk, go. Wow. And you know, to since we, we since we're talking about Twitter, you guys got to go hit up David Russell, director on Twitter. He's Canada's best television director. Check out the stream from Toronto. Thanks for taking a break from your crazy busy, busy schedule to check out all the action today. So there you go, David Russell, director on Twitter. Huh. Hit him, hit him up, hit him up, hit him up right now, hit him up, and then Do it. hashtag Cod Champs. Hashtag yeah, always hashtag Cod Champs. Hashtag Cod Champs in every every tweet that you and all of the tweets, every all the tweets, all the tweets on board with Tommy from the Epsilon Squad. They're gonna make a power push here into B as he's got Jurd and Flux in front of him. Only one player staying back at C to grab it, and the battle for B will continue here between these two squads. MB with a 17-point lead.
going into the second half. See, the thing that really worries me now is, is the fact that Envious played that last game pretty much how they need to play this. Just be very... Did, did Jer just hit a three-piece net? Uh, Jer got a three-piece with Semtex, three piece so Semtex. Okay. that was huge. Okay, that was that was. That you was missed cool. it. I'm not, I, I'm not driving, guys. I don't have the controller. Don't yell at me. Tweet, tweet at Benson <laughs> yeah, underscore EU. Definitely at it, he filled your European brethren. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize, Jud. You are king. I shall make it up to you someday. King, king Jud, man. Anyway, what I was going to say is the, the situation that we're in right now is very much exactly the same as the situation from, from last game, right? Envious have the lead. They don't need to go to that B-flight. And considering how well they were able to defend that B-flight and keep it neutral, I would be very worried if I was part of Epsilon right now. They need to make sure they can cap that, and they're going to need to do it with, with some synergies. Put some trophy system downs, throw some smokes, don't run it individually, because that just simply is not going to work. Now Swanee's left in a horrible position where he needs to just try and go big for his team and try and defend that B-flight. Yeah, I mean, it, this is Swanee's spot. He's a power player from the bottom uh, porter here, and you've got to knock him off here. It's Teams have trouble doing this because he's got such a good AR shot that he picks him up coming out of red or in the middle. Swanee now on it, going to try to get the scare. Ooh. Picks up another kill. That's four consecutive kills. Swanee going to pull out this B and does. Big, big play by Epsilon at the hands of Swanee. Now Epsilon need to just try and reduce that deficit. 17 points at the half. They have three and a half minutes. And all they need to do is keep that A and keep that B flag. I'm looking now for Swanee to continue this rampage. He's on a six point streak as he shuts down Nameless. Six and three. Judd really stepping up in the slaying department though. No, he's 10 and six. Epsilon oh starting to come back at Swanee. This is the Swanee we know and love. This is why he's such an amazing it, player. It that looked, accuracy for it. Yeah, it looks kind of like a, a bot, dude. It's so right? effortless, you know, when he, he goes over these guys and picks them up. Uh, it, it is very impressive to watch anybody that's got such a good AR shot. Oh, he hit the oh back my oh. gosh! Oh, the, please no. get a second. No! Oh, that would have just been filthy. Oh my goodness! Swanee on a tear finally was taken out by Nameless only because he ran out of ammo. Yep, pretty much. He was desperately searching for another weapon. That was Nameless's first kill too. Oh really? Oh yeah. wow! It was. Oh, speaking of uh, first kills, you got Flux and Nameless both with one kill apiece. So two players to really watch out for picking things up in the later parts of this game. But the thing. I'm really curious about now is how is Envy going to try and adapt to this? Are they going to try and rotate towards that home flag? That looks like that's the potential plan. You've got Merc over there and you also have Study. They're going to try and at least neutralize this flag. Epsilon are going to be challenging. There's a huge kill coming in from Merc. That's just going to buy them a little extra time. Yeah, actually, if Merc didn't get that cap point, uh, it would have got tied up right there. So that's going to help him out in the situation for Envy to keep a lead. But now you've got Epsilon that's already busted it out. So it's only a three point lead in favor of Envy at this point. Very, very small lead. Epsilon doing everything they can in their power to come back into this game. Nameless on your screen. He's picking things up now, starting to catch fire a little bit, get himself pumped back up. Three and eight. And really looking at the veterans of the team. Oh, my days, that was nice. And now it's tied. Tied game. So you, I'm looking at the veterans of this team now to really step up, take responsibility, get those call outs going, get that communication going, and potentially take this domination frame. And there you go, Nameless gonna help out, jump on A with his team. They've got the map split yet again on both A and C. You're gonna see that Epsilon is gonna recover C and Swanee making sure that they just don't lose B after the A break. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for Swanee here, is just to pick up those kills in transition. That's one, that's two. Oh, nearly found the third, but Merc shuts him down. You've got Rambo on your screen. Last man up for Envious. He's gonna pick up one. Jerd's gonna trade that kill though as we go into the last 60 seconds now for his Epsilon have the lead. This is getting intense. 60 seconds left on the clock. Envy, which looks so dominant in that first half, going in with a 17-point lead. Now it's starting to dwindle away here as it is 72 to 67. Essentially, if you get that plus 17, just to give you a reference of where it's at. So very close match between these two teams. It's interesting. In the beginning, you guys said, you know, Envious plays. As study goes, Envious goes. Look at the game studies having yeah. right now. He's the passion of that team. He's at a slower game. Man, Swanee, he, this is a guy I think has eyes in the back of his head. Yeah, you know? <laughs> well, uh, pretty much sums it up. I, I, I knew Swanee was a threat on Freight, was kind of concerned with how he played in the first half. Second half, no, nothing to doubt here. 18 and 5 on the flip side to your point, Brian. Study 4 and 11, just kind of lost here. They're going to have to go into game two and figure something out. Swanee yeah. just has such a feel for this level. It's incredible. Yeah. He's a very, very talented, I mean, look at that. Very, very talented AR player. And, you know, sometimes I feel like he doesn't get the credit play, play he really like deserves. Duck Hunter over here as they come <laughs> out, man. He just knocks them out. Pretty much, that, that's his game plan. 19 and five to finish on the second side from the European powerhouse. Wow, total and roll reversal there. Right, you, you look that at that first brutal. side. You look at that first side, and you're thinking, "Oh, envious. This this could get out of hand a little bit. You know, they could potentially get get a good score. Studies carry on playing yeah. like that, but then 
you know, as I brought up, if Study has a bad game, it's very hard for Envious to win those maps. And Jurd and Swanee go 35 and 16 as a combined score just in the <laughs> second half alone. Kind of so, helps a little bit, right? Uh, that'll help. <laughs> just, just a small bit. But the big question, Envious, th this is what's going to be on everyone's mind. Can they recover from that? And the answer is, of course they can. Uh, just a team of veterans. Now let's have a look at some of the, the key highlights and the, and the replays from that map. You can see there that B flag, just how long that was really stayed neutral, and then the final kill coming in from Study. Yeah, this is the first half when Study. I mean, Study had a really, really strong first half. Remember him and Bert really carried the team in that that first half to give you that 17 point lead, and then this was Swanee's run that finally ended by Nameless because he had to pick up that Emtar, <laughs> but he was he was on a roll at that point, and uh, he really never slowed down after that. MB tried to split the map in a couple different areas. There was fist bumps. They were happy, but like they they've got to get it together now. Stay positive going to game number two.